Hello, welcome to the second video of the making of a drum synth block. This one's not concerned about snare drum module, but rather about the digital or sequencer part of this drum drum machine or drum synthesizer project. When you compare this image to the ones, a few ones I've uploaded on the block, you can see that some things have moved on. For instance, some modules have been built in and some knobs are on and so on. So, I've just finished writing the software and mounting all the digital controller parts. I'm going to show you basically how the sequencer works and what can be done with the sequencer. Just a little view inside. I switch it off for the moment. Just see loads of electronics. Well, just, this is just to give you an impression. Let's switch it on again. What you can see is you have a green LED lamp and a red one, two rotary switches and one potentiometer which controls the speed of the sequencer. Now it's in stopped mode. The green LED tells you in which position the sequencer is. That goes from 1 to 16. And the red LED tells you where each individual in instrument is programmed on. For instance, now we um, with this rotary switch we um, can switch between which instruments we want to program. For instance, now it's uh, the bass drum which is programmed, and you see that the bass drum is triggered on beat one, six, eight, nine, and sixteen. This is just an arbitrary pattern um, I hard coded in just to check the basic functionality. So we can, of course switch the instrument knob to switch through different sets of programmed instruments. Let's switch back to the bass drum. With the buttons we can program each individual instrument. For instance, on measure 6 the bass drum is triggered but it's not ac accentuated. If we press it once again we can make it accentuated, making means that it sounds louder on the sixth bar. We can also, if you want to switch it off, you can press it again so it rotates through, switched off, switched on, and accentuated. Okay, same for snare drum. You can add some. So the running mode is forward, it has a stop and a play button. Of course, play simply starts the sequencer, and as I've already said, you can control the speed with this knob. I have to tune the range a little bit because the slowest thing is much too slow, and it's difficult to set it up in the faster range. There's not only the forward running mode, which repeats at the left end always when it comes to the right end you can also change it to backwards running mode and well if you like that you can also let the sequencer move from left to right in a ping pong kind of way then back and what's special and what I think only this machine has it has a random mode which just triggers the which just triggers the um, pulses or bars randomly. Of course you can when you press play again you can pause it. When you stop it it stopped. But the good thing about the stop is if you want to uh, sequence or to advance manually you can press stop again and then be able to control the sequence yourself. This may become then maybe could come in handy when you try to just break up the rhythm or just slow it down for a short moment you can just um, press stop several times there's one thing I didn't mention so far you can you can choose between four patterns which can be programmed at right at the moment there's pattern one which is um, chosen you see on this led you can the idea behind this 
was that you have a plate pattern and an edited pattern. So that means you can let's switch it to forward again. You can you can play one pattern while editing another one. You see that if the LED is not turned on, that the pattern you're editing is not played. For instance, when I want to make a break or change the beat or whatever in a live situation, I could edit the second pattern and then with a press of this button start it. And it always starts it when the when the beat repeats again, meaning when the counter is at the left position. And you see that the actually edited pattern is also played when this led is switched on. I think this is um well one of the basic features that makes me able to, to play the instrument in an improvised or live kind of way. Well, I think that's already it. There's still some slow bug, uh, some slight bugs. For instance, if you play stuff, then um, for me it's logic that the counter goes back to zero. It doesn't. Well, um, what I'm going to do next is, first of all, finish the mixer module so that I can try on, so that I can, I can install each sound module step by step and then check how it sounds and then hopefully uh, assemble the entire device. Thanks for watching, have fun and...